like to welcome you. Uh, we are here to celebrate these young people and celebrate their academic achievements. Um, and it is great to see the crowd here that we have. It is very humbling to, to see the real support that is out tonight for these young people. And we're going to bless the food and then we will slowly begin our process. We're trying to let, it, let everybody get through because we may have some folks that have not got to the line. But uh, let's bless our food. Lord God, we just bow tonight. We're so home uh, that we can gather together, Lord, for the, in this great country. And Lord, I thank you for these young people that we will honor tonight. Lord, I thank you for their academic achievements. And Lord, uh, I pray that the, the things that they learn, that they will be able to take with them, and it will build character in them. And Lord, it will bring about citizens in our country that will be God fearing and will look to the Lord in all that they do. And God, we ask that you would be with these parents who have sacrificed much and continue to sacrifice so that their children can have the best in education and have the best experience a school can be in. Lord, we pray for our school. We pray for our growing. Lord, we pray that as we grow that your hand will be upon us and that you will carry us through. Lord, give us wisdom. Give us clarity as we make the decisions that need to be made. Lord, we thank you. We love you. We most of all thank you for your son, Christ Jesus. It's in his name. Amen. At this time, we're going to begin. And so if you've just gotten your dinner, feel free to sit down and enjoy it. Eat right through. And we're going to start with uh, this is Garley Pass.
Emerson Powell. Colby Richard Robertson, excuse me, Colby Robertson. Red Schilling.
coming in in January of this year. I'm teaching Algebra 1 and Geometry. Uh, for Algebra 1, I have two outstanding students. The first one is Frank Caminita.
Hi there, I'm Emily Phelps, but I am presenting for Shandel Waspel, and she is the ninth grade physical science teacher. Um, she had a lot of wonderful things to say about the three students who are getting outstanding student, outstanding student awards in her class, and she says thank you so much for the hard work, and she loves you a bunch. Um, and the three recipients are Ella Dorsett, <laughs> Curtis Willie, And the following students are receiving the banner roll award. 
Preston Gerald.
pretty good amount of artists in my little tenth grade class, but I chose Mackenzie Brock. She is quite an artist, and she always delivers whenever I ask her to enter into any competition that we have. She plays second at the Barnard Rose Door Museum and first at MIAS District.
those students in the class and I appreciated that, but they were very wonderful students. The first one is Lydia Thomas. My second is Lana Martinez. And also Ella Oiler.
additional student plans. Once again, these students were his highest GPA. Very hardworking, very dedicated. He really enjoyed working with these groups. Uh, the first person is Kate Pitt.
Sophie Nobles is ready uh, and Thank you all for a wonderful experience. I also teach sign language and I have two outstanding students, Peyton Thompson and Dash Perkins. year in U.S. history, I had the unusual situation of having a student who knows volumes more about a topic than I do. Now, some teachers might have found that intimidating, but when that student is as gracious and generous and respectful as Cody is, it made for a great experience. Very early in the year, I told him that when we got to World War II, he would be our guest lecturer and he waited patiently, or somewhat patiently, to, um, for that time to come. He spent many, many hours preparing a slideshow and a presentation. I am in awe of Cody's depth of knowledge of the Second World War, and I can definitely see him becoming a scholar. And so thank you, Cody. I didn't answer questions, and now that that role has been reversed, uh, I realize how important students are who participate and how greatly appreciated. Now, I have many who do that, but two that really stand out to me. I can ask questions from topics that we covered weeks or even months earlier, and one of these two or both of them will almost always answer it correctly, and that shows me that they actually learned it and didn't just memorize it for a test, which means a lot to me as a teacher. So I'd also like to recognize Alex Vassell and Grayson Painter. The dual enrollment class for U.S. History is full of awesome students that put in so much hard work and really excelled. This class was very difficult this year um, with some changes that have been made. I also had seven in there that were not part of the dual enrollment that did a great job. But one student really stands out to me because she kept keep us all straight and on schedule. I have told her many times that I don't know what we'd do without her. She is always eager to help out and we depend on her for so much. Um, and sometimes I even forget that she is a student and not a fellow adult. The phrase old soul gets used a lot, but it definitely applies to Sophie Nobles. Presenting a 
couple of writing awards. Um, a couple of years ago, the MAIS began a creative writing competition, and different grades are lumped together. Um, and our representative from the ninth and 10th grade division, I would like to recognize her paper was chosen from all ninth and 10th graders at our school and went on to the state competition, and that was Lady Warner. in the Young Authors Contest. The Louisiana Reading Association sponsors this contest and our local chapter of the Reading Association called the Washington Parish Reading Council um, allows all of the, the schools in our district or our parish to participate and contribute to the competition. So we have a lot of, um, of those who participated and placed. And if I mention that they placed first, in the district competition, that means that their paper went on to the state competition. Now keep in mind that this is public and private schools combined. Okay, so we're talking tons of children competing against one another. So on the district level, Gabriel Romano, second place fiction. <laughs> Ali Stewart, second place nonfiction. Madison Ross, first place poetry. So hers are going to the state competition. Zeke Berger, second place fiction. Gracie Warner, second place nonfiction. Wyatt Phelps, first place poetry. <laughs> Cody Como, first place fiction. <laughs> Alexis Meyer, second place nonfiction. Brock. 
Technology One District Qualifier. Zeke Burford Geometry District Qualifier. <laughs> this is organized chaos. Sorry, it's my life lately. Wyatt Phelps English Two District Qualifier. Madison Ross World Geography District Qualifier. Gabriel Romano English One District Qualifier. Frank Kimanita. Algebra 1, District Qualifier. Dylan Snowball, Algebra 1, District Qualifier. Sophie Nobles, Chemistry District Qualifier. Jason Miller, District Qualifier in History. And Berkeley was a District Qualifier in Spelling.
Next, we have the Red Courts for U.S. History Dual Enrollment, Sam Blanchard, Other Boss, Catherine Burris, Weston Bush, Annabella Cother, Lakin Culpepper, Addie Goins, Luke Kingle, Alexis Meyer, Sophie Nobles, Landon Powell, Rebecca Raymond, Maggie Sheridan, Madison Thomas, Peyton Thompson, and Sydney Barrett.
think if we have learned anything tonight, we do not lack confidence. Uh, we do not lack energy. Got to laugh. Incredible group of young people to say this. Well, juniors, here it is. The senior year. You made it. Okay? You made it. So you're one step closer to the over. So now the, the focus turns. What's next? Right? What's next? Because it's right here. It's close. It's closing in. How good will your senior year be? Well, you made it. It's your story. It's your year. Do everything at the very best that you can. Because failure will come. You can bet that. Because everybody in here who's, who's older than you and done this before can tell you failure is going to occur. But just remember something very simple. It is not time. It is a necessity. We must go through it in our lives to know like wrong, good, bad, and how good we can be. Right? First tip in learning, FAI. It's something that I think about every day because it's going to happen. And what you have shown tonight is you can overcome most anything. You, know, you can do great things in the classroom. Continue that. Continue doing that. Because as a man told me, I told a bunch of kids a long time ago, and I always wonder what the world's talking about. He said, you know, every time you make a day, you're in a hurry. Every time you make a bank, you're earning a home and I'll One guy stood up the back and said, where are you going to You know, it comes down the line, okay? And all the hard work and effort that you're putting in now is going to pay dividends in the future. Students, you need to give your parents a round of applause. Right here. <laughs> one day, one day you, will, you will wake up and you will have to pay your own insurance. And one day you will, oh, trust me, I've got two that are doing it. And you're going to pay your own car insurance. You're going to have to pay your own health insurance. And all of a sudden, this awful thing called taxes. And we've got a group in Washington that loves that. And you're going to pay those. And you're going to, you're going to start a job as, as, a, as my son-in-law did. And, my, and, you know, she said, wait a minute, Dad, he doesn't make that much. This is all he made. We can't live on that. And I said, well, welcome to the real world here. Because here it is. And it will jump up and get you. So pay very close attention as you go through. Try to listen to everything that you hear from these folks that are up here teaching. And a round of applause for our teacher. Y'all are just amazing. <laughs> as, you, as you traverse our school, can't wait for you to be at graduation this week to see uh, the amazing refurbishing of our gymnasium. I really think you're going to like it. If you haven't seen it, save it. Save it. Come in Friday and just be just be shocked. And enjoy it. it's, it's amazing. Uh, middle school, concrete's being poured tomorrow, so students remember what we talked about today as far as you're driving. Uh, there's so many great things going on in the middle school right now. We've got a lot to be proud of. Let's continue to pray for our school. Let's continue to pray daily that we do it the right way and we meet the needs of our children. Because it's children first and the biblical world here. That's the vision mission. And that's what it's going to stay. Okay? I will close with a word of prayer and we'll be dismissed. Let's pray to Heavenly Father and what a joy it is to be able to gather together in fellowship in order that we can proclaim the name of Christ Jesus as our Lord and Son. For the sacrifice he made on that cross will be the key to our salvation. Lord, we just thank you so much for it. Lord God, as we continue in this thing called life, Lord, I pray that you'll be with these young people, and that you will mold them, and that they will use you as their leader and their shield, and they will put on the armor of God as they go forward. Lord God, we pray that you will be with our school during this growth, and Lord, that you will bless us. You will have, have your hand of mercy upon us, comfort and direction, and you will give us wisdom and decision. Now, go with us, forgive us of where we fall short. In your son's name, I pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
guys, so many of you guys, since you were so great today, Sam, would you get all your guys back there?